What's up, y'all? This is Ron coming back at you with yet another car video. A woman is actually doing you a favor if she rejects you for superficial reasons. She's actually doing you a favor. Now, I know a lot of men don't like rejection. It don't feel good, but hold up. After I get through with this video, you'll feel great about rejection if it's for superficial reasons. Because we know how a lot of women are nowadays because, you know, you got women out here that reject you like not having the right shoes on, you know? Yeah, yeah, I had, had to do, had to cut off the radio and everything because they get funky. People on the radio get funky. I remember I had some the radio one. They were like copyright and all that. I mean, fuck that. They better be happy. I'm advertising for them. Anyway, right? Look, if a woman reject you for deep reasons, like she got to know you, got your character, the personality don't click, okay, live with that. But when she reject you for superficial reasons, like, let me use the shoe example again. Now, I'm known for saying a woman will suck your dick off of shoes. They'll also reject you off of shoes. But hold up, hold up. Here's the thing with that. You can change your shoes. You can change your clothes. Shoot, even if you talk about haircuts. She don't like your haircuts. Shoot, the barber can always bless you. In fact, she might meet you on the way to the barber. You on your way to the barber, she up there talking about she rejecting you, but the barber going about to hook you up anyway. So it's like, wait a minute, why are you tripping? Why are you tripping? You know? Because you get some women, and especially on, like, like I say, the gift that keep on giving the balloon pop shows. I saw a clip, these women, they rejected this man. He ain't even open no, he ain't even, he wasn't even out on camera good. They rejected him. They found out he had all this stuff going on for him. I forget what the final thing was with him, but it was like, they were stupid as hell. They were stupid as hell. Be rejecting the guy off of some shit like that. You know? Because if you reject a woman off just, just their look or something like that, Oh shoot, they they ready to have a they ready they ready to have a storm. They shoot. They traumatized and everything. Ready to say something wrong with you, but then you got women out here rejecting men for superficial reasons. Even when uh like I said, women be checking out a guy in three seconds, but you can't find out a lot. And a lot of guys get rejected who got something going on. Just because their presentation ain't on in that particular moment. In that particular moment, right? You know, they don't know. They don't know. How, how's, a, how's a woman supposed to know what you got going on? It ain't like you walking around like all the time with that fancy watch on. And shoot, I've known plenty of dudes... I know plenty of dudes even did this, and you could say, you could call it game or whatever. You know, they could have a real fancy car, but they're going to date the one in the hoop. Just to see what the woman's about. And many a woman has lost out on a man because they tripping over a car, which could be different. Instead of finding out the character. In fact, when I've talked to women, because remember, a third of my consultation clients are women. And even when I got started in relationships, period, I was talking to just women. Right? And I would say, well, hold up. Y'all need to get to know a man. Y'all need to find out. One of the first things I wrote for the women was this thing called finding a good man. I said, why don't y'all get to know him? Find out what he's about. Take your time. Get to know him. Find out what he got going on. Because sometimes the men who had the best presentation ain't the best men. And then sometimes the best men, they might not have that great presentation right away. In fact, let me let me let me tell a story. Let me tell a story. This don't have nothing to do with relationships, but y'all can make the correlation. Right? It was uh when I was working for this uh working at one of the gyms. Now it was part of a big chain. 
and you know, I was working in sales and the sales, the manager of sales, she was telling a story. We had a sale, big sales meeting. She was telling a story. Like this guy, it was an Asian guy. He came in and he came into this gym. He was just looking around. He wanted, you know, wanted to inquire about a membership. He said, she said most of the salespeople didn't want to deal with them except for one. And that one took their time, gave a great job, right? You know? Now, found out the guy, he, he was all dirty and everything, but he actually owned a restaurant. He owned a restaurant. And he was just finished working. <laughs> he just finished working, doing a lot of stuff around there. He was just checking out some stuff. And, you know, he not only signed up himself, he signed up his whole family. So just because that one salesperson didn't really, uh, you know, reject the guy just off of what he looked like or how he was dressed, you know, made a lot of money. That's the same thing a lot of women will do. They'll reject the guy, but they ain't finding out what's going on with him. Now, how's this doing your favor? If a woman reject you off of some superficial shit, she ain't gonna be an asset to you anyway. What good is she gonna be to you? She's showing who she is right away. So, you know, some guys will get mad. It's like, no. Nah. And you know, of course, some guys feel like, well, they should dress all the time. Hey, if you looking for a woman, yeah, definitely dress up, fix up. But shit, sometimes you ain't gonna be that all the time. And yeah, that woman might be fine, you know, had those big, you know, I got to say, big breasts or that big old butt dunk, nice legs. She might be fine, but she don't know what you got going on. Like, it's funny, right? You got these women talking about they want a guy making six figures and all of that shit. And I'm just, I'm just be straight up. Most of them ain't going to get it. Most of them ain't going to get it because a lot of times the guys making a lot of money ain't going to show it. Indeed, even when those guys, those same guys buy expensive items, they don't know if they, I'm going to tell y'all what, let me, let me hit y'all with some game. Let me hit y'all with some game. Some of those name brand stuff ain't for rich people. Most quality clothing, most like uh, stuff that the rich people be buying. You might see them in a t-shirt and you might not think anything of it, but that t-shirt costs $300. They not gonna wear names on their stuff, right? So a woman, she trying to look for all of that stuff. She ain't gonna, she ain't gonna notice a guy making a lot of money. Talking six figures, she ain't gonna notice that. And even if you go beyond clothing, you look at stuff like, like a big deal is height. Now, you got some women shorter than the guy rejecting some guy because he ain't six feet. Now, I understand the woman taller than the guy. Even then, they should get to know him, but I can understand. I can understand their issue. But you got some women, they about 5'2", rejecting a guy 5'9". He's still taller than them. That's still some superficial shit. They ain't find out what about it, and he's still taller than them. What the? Uh, it's a school bus up in this joint. Ah, ah. Anyway, yeah, it was like a line of cars. I was like, what the fuck? But, she, I mean, seriously. You don't want that woman. If that woman reject you off of anything small, you know, for anything tiny, what the fuck is she going to do for you? Superficial. You can change that. Like, somebody might see me right now. Okay. I'm coming from the gym. I'm wearing sweats. I'm wearing some running shoes. Now, they might, what I say about shoes, they might say, well, I don't like his shoes. I don't know. I got enough shoes to wear a different pair of shoes every day for a month. I got shoes I haven't even touched in a while. See, some shoes I just need to just give them away and stuff, and they still in good condition. Heck, I might even, uh, shit, I can even hit a flea market or something sell the shoes for a good price. But, they judging on one pair of shoes instead of getting to know. See, they ain't trying to find out. 
Like uh, one thing I was always, I, I used to tell women, and I still tell any women listening, see what the dude talking about first, because you don't know. You don't know. Yeah, he might see him, he might be all bummy or whatever. Or, you know, he could be coming from the gym. Or, you know what, he might own a construction company, he just finished like rehabbing, a, working on rehabbing a, a home. And he might own a bunch of stuff. You know, they don't know, but it's on some superficial shit. But see, women like that, see, here's the problem. If a woman's superficial, what is she going to do for you? If you're a man on a mission, you're a serious man, you're trying to build up some stuff. You want that woman going to find out what, what it is up with you first. It's going to be that smart. It's going to look up and say, hold up, let me, let me find out what's going on with her. Now, like I said, if a woman talk with you and it's just not a click, it ain't a click. It might not be a click on your part. All right. And I would tell men, and look, let's just be straight. I would tell men, hey, just because that woman look good and stuff, find out what's on her mind anyway. But see, nowadays, you got a lot of women rejecting some men off some dumb shit. And then they getting dogged. And I'm going to use the word dog. They getting dogged by some guys who just show, that just sow some stuff. Like a big game is you know, like some guy they might they might get that fancy car or something like that, but then they don't have anything. Um, but they living at home with their mama, but got that expensive car. That's some old game right there. Got that big expensive car and stuff, but they don't got nothing else going on for them. And got some women going crazy for them. And a lot of them get that. They they'll have that all the all that stuff. Get all those women just going for the flash and everything. What good is that woman though? What good is that woman? Because that if a man is building, because building, I don't care what you building, there's gonna be some dirty aspects. I don't care what you building, there's gonna be some parts you're gonna be like. You ain't going to look your best every single time, every single time you step out. Even when you, unless you let the barber bless you every single day, yeah, it's going to get a little ragged. Just a little, you know? Like, no matter what. Yeah, I'm behind this school bus. This little girl back there, she going crazy. Yeah, she'd probably be a politician when she go up Anyway, here's the thing. Uh-oh, I see Popo. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I see Popo. Man, come on, y'all. Y'all getting people on the biggest travel day of the year, man. Come on, y'all. Come on. That's all right. That's all right. I'm behind this bus. This bus ain't driving fast. I see y'all. Y'all slick. They put their little trunk up so you can't see what's up. Motherfuckers. Anyway, right? Nah, but if you look, if you a man, and let's say you say hi to a woman and she rejects you or she look you up and down and stuff, or she don't like how you dress, she don't, I don't know, your care cut. She don't like shit on you, you can change. You know? You taller than her or anything like that. Or even if she, you know what, she might not find you initially attractive. But you might have everything that she wanted. Fuck her. Seriously, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just laugh about that shit. Seriously. See, here's the thing. As a man, know everything about yourself. Know everything that you bring into the table. Know who you are. Right? That woman don't know anything about you. You don't get mad if she reject you. Okay, if she ain't smart, see, you want a woman smart enough to see, okay, let me see what's up with her. You know, that's the woman you want. You want that woman going to, like, find out what your character's about. Indeed, that woman who, she going to at least talk with you can say, hold up, hold up, let me see what's up. And what I always tell women is, at least be friendly to a guy who's at least uh, polite, at least polite. Now, if the guy ain't polite or something, I say do what they got to do. But if the guy is polite and saying something, it's like they need to find out. 
Because many women will lose out on a man because of that superficiality. How many women have probably lost out on a guy because they didn't like his shoes? Which, you know, they might be somebody like me. Got like, what, 29 other pairs of shoes at home. You know? Or somebody, you know, coming from the gym. Or somebody who just finished working on their job where they actually had to get their hands dirty. You know? Seriously. If that woman didn't want to deal with you, whatever. She doing you a favor by that rejection. She's losing out. Like, let me go again into what I was saying about these women when these guys up here talking about they want a guy making six figures. Then trust me, y'all heard it here first. It'll be a half a million. I don't know when. Probably sooner than I'm thinking it'll be, right? What you, how that woman going to know? I've known some guys. I've, I've known plenty of dudes making six figures. You can't really, and you can never really tell. They don't know what they got. They ain't dressed up all the time. Shoot. In fact, uh, uh, this morning, I just did my uh, business uh, videos and stuff. And I mentioned this guy. And if you saw him, you wouldn't think he had any money. You know? You wouldn't think he had any money. But uh, I, let's just say I seen a receipt. That dude had money like crazy. <laughs> that dude had money like crazy. You know? But see, the average woman wouldn't even believe that. Because they on some superficial ass shit. They will miss out. You know? They will miss out on some shit. But is that what you want as a man? As a man, you want that woman who's going to be an asset. An asset. A woman going to find out what you're about. And to the point, she going to just help you with some stuff. See, a woman who want to find out your character, that's the type of woman... Who's going to find out what you about? Oh, and let me say something about that character thing. I got to call, you know me, I don't really call out women, but I got to call them out. It's kind of funny women talk about character and all that shit when a man come up there superficial. Then they talk about character. I'm like, well, hold up, you need to tell your girlfriends that shit. There was a woman jumping on some guy talking about the superficial reasons why. There was a guy, there was a video a few weeks ago. Y'all probably saw it. A lot of people saw it. Probably a lot of guys, uh, he was talking about the superficial reasons why women would want him. He was 6'4 and made six figures and certain height, even his race and shit. And this woman going on about his character and trying to jump on him. I'm like, please, you need to talk to your girlfriends about that. Because, in fact, I even talked about that. A bunch of women would still jump on him just for those superficial reasons. And this woman talking about character. Talk to your girlfriends about that. I can count on how many hands? Maybe, maybe one. No more than two hands. How many women I've heard talk about character? But that's whether they're talking about it or not. That's what you want. As a man, you want that woman just to reject you. Only be concerned if she just ain't clicking with you. And even then, if she talk with you, just be like, oh, okay. Because like I said, you might you might not like her character. You need to find out what's going on with her. So you need to you need to like go there. But see, you got if they gonna reject you off some dumb shit, some shit that's changeable, you don't need to deal with them. Seriously, seriously, and y'all need to come with that. Just laugh about that shit, all right? Just laugh about it, you know? And it's kind of like those videos, uh, those prank videos where, you know, and you know how they prank videos, a woman reject a guy, but all of a sudden he go to this big old car and then she want to be all friendly. You know they prank videos, but in the real world, if you try to say something to a woman, all of a sudden she see your ride or something like that, and she want to talk to you. It was like, nah, baby, you, baby girl, you done rejected me already. Fuck that, nah. Don't, don't try to holler at me now. I'm still the same person. I'm still the same human being. That's how you got to be with that shit. Because as a man, every woman out here ain't for your ass anyway. Yeah, there's an abundance, but every single woman ain't. 
and you need to with how some of these women be running game, how they, some of these women be scamming, how some of these women be manipulating, whatever term you want to use, every single thing that blocks them from or that that's who you you want them to be blocked. You don't want them like trying to holler or something. You want to block them. And you want to be happy because they saving you some time and energy. They saving they they saving you time and stuff. You you don't have to deal with their bullshit. And I'm gonna call it bullshit. Seriously, don't get mad. Some guys be losing their mind over rejection. I'm like, hey, she probably saved you some time. One way or the other, in multiple ways, myriad ways, she probably saved you some time and energy. You know? So that's how you got to always approach it. That's how you always got to think about it, all right? But anyway, go ahead and drop off some stuff. I ain't going to have a video tomorrow. I already said it in my uh, regular video. I ain't going to have a video tomorrow, man. Celebrating Thanksgiving. Man, I'm going to tell you what, though. Last Thanksgiving, I was in a therapy center. I was in a... Uh, yeah, I was in the therapy center with a tube in my stomach. I, I couldn't even eat with everybody else for things for Thanksgiving. Couldn't eat with my family. Sure, it's different this year. You know, it's different. And I'm thankful. I'm thankful. You know, I'm thankful for that. It was like another year. Just last year, I'm sitting in a wheelchair. What was I doing? Sitting in a wheelchair with a tube in my stomach. I might have been reading a book or something. I might have been either reading a book or just 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 online. Watching a little TV or something. <laughs> so it's different. And I call it we call it family day. We call it family day. So you got a little squirrel over here about the coming into my car for some reason. <laughs> Wait a minute. Get this car out of here and stuff. So anyway, right? That's how it is, all right? So anyway, yeah. Yeah, this dude thought I was uh, honking at him. I was just honking and get this car with the squirrel from under the car. So anyway, right? Y'all have a good Thanksgiving, family day, whatever term you want to use. Spend time with your family and everything. And I'll get back with y'all on Friday, all right? I'll get back with y'all. Peace and blessings.